In this video, we will give a simple demonstration of how our H2 Pro wetting agents will help you get the most out of your water management. What you see here is a shallow dish of root zone taken from a golf course. The root zone has been dried and slightly sieved and packed into the dish. Now, if we drip some tap water onto the root zone, we can see quite clearly that the water is beating up onto the surface. We put 10 drops on, which form a water droplet. As you can see, the water is not infiltrating or soaking into the sand. We repeat this a second time, again with tap water only. Again, the water beads up onto the surface. Two things are happening here. The sand is hydrophobic sand, which means that it is repelling water. The hydrophobicity doesn't let the water soak into the sand. Water has a relatively high surface tension, so it wants to naturally form a droplet. You can imagine how ineffective irrigation applications can be on your turf with this type of root zone and how stressed turf growing in these conditions can get. So how do we treat such hydrophobic areas? What can we do to move the water evenly throughout the root zone? There are two approaches to solve this issue. The first approach is the most common. We can treat soil to prevent this hydrophobicity forming or break the hydrophobicity once it is formed. Our H2 Pro TriSmart and H2 Pro AquaSmart wetting agents can achieve this, which we will demonstrate. We drip H2 Pro TriSmart onto the hydrophobic sand. TriSmart is our premium sand area wetting agent. The carefully formulated product has lowered the surface tension of water. It can soak into the root zone where it will treat the hydrophobic patches. If we now take some water and drip it onto the H2 Pro TriSmart, the water will soak into the sand. The water will beat up where TriSmart has not been applied, as you can see now. Next, we demonstrate how H2 Pro AquaSmart works, which is our outfield wetting agent. It has a different formulation to TriSmart. Here you can see that H2 Pro AquaSmart has the same effect as TriSmart, but it is slower in breaking the hydrophobicity. But it works just as well, of course. AquaSmart diluted to application rate does soak in. There it goes. If we then again put water onto it, the water now penetrates normally. Also, here the water will beat up where AquaSmart has not been applied. Both H2 Pro TriSmart and H2 Pro AquaSmart act as residual wetting agents. They break the hydrophobicity of the root zone and allow the sand to be available for water infiltration. Now, as said, there are two approaches to coping with the hydrophobicity. The second approach would be to lower the surface tension of the water. We can demonstrate this by applying a drop of H2 Pro Flow Smart to the existing beaded up water. One drop is all that is needed to reduce the surface tension of the water and get it to soak in. Here, we will demonstrate it again with now a single drop. It is very effective at getting water moving into and through any root zone. 